Well, hello again and welcome to the VK6CS Fun with Amateur Radio channel. As you can hear, we're uh, moving into summer and all those critters are clicking away again. Uh, they do that for a, I don't know if it's a month or two over, uh, over Christmas, just as it all warms up over here in Australia. But clicking away they are. So it's not a sprinkler, it's critters. Now, um, <clears throat> I did the video the other day on this rather nice uh, pentode. It's called a pentode because it has um, uh, five, uh, five elements in it, if you like. It has a cathode, a uh, control grid, screen grid, and suppressor grid, and an anode. Now, um, a couple of people have asked me um, <coughs> uh, what sort of condition the valve is in, does it look like it's ever been handled or used, how it was packaged, and uh, I think I mentioned on the last video, it looks absolutely brand new. Absolutely brand new, that looks to me. Okay, so how did it come packaged? It came packaged like this. Very, very good packaging. There's another one there, and I'll just show you how it was unwrapped. But the one I just showed you was sitting in there. It was covered in bubble wrap, uh, just the same as this one is here. So I can just get that folded down out of the way, like that. And uh, someone else said, where did I get them from? Now, um, I'll have a look at the uh, I'll have a look at the wrapper in a minute. I actually got them from eBay, but because I don't have a PayPal account, um, I got someone else to actually get them uh, for me. I just flicked them a link, and uh, they uh, they got them for me. So I'll have to I'll have to double check on that one where they came from. But uh, I mean I haven't I haven't lit them up or fired them up yet. But certainly I'm very impressed with the way the people that sold me these have uh, packaged them posted them. Yeah, it's called post and packing, isn't it? But it's normally packing and post is the way around you would do it, isn't it? Okay, so that's how they come, like that. That's the other one. You can see that's very well packaged. Let's get rid of the box. And uh, I'll unwrap that one. I haven't actually seen this one yet, but I fully expect it to be just as nice as the other one. There's not much, uh, not much to talk about um, while I'm actually unpackaging it, of course, apart from the fact that it's very well packaged. I mean, how many times can I say that? But uh, yes, I would say that's very, very well and carefully packaged. So how can I get that end off here? And again, if you see me, uh, if you see me shaking, it's not because I'm suffering any kind of withdrawal symptoms. It's because I'm leaning around a tripod. Now, someone said to me the other day, "Couldn't I put the camera on on some sort of band around my head?" You know. Now I haven't tried that, but I suspect that it would be all over the place. As I'm sort of moving around the camera to do the uh, the thing here, well, that wouldn't be there, would it? Of course. So maybe I'll give that a try. I mean, I don't have to upload the video. Do I? Um, oh, and uh, I bumped into uh, VK6 LD Rob the other day, and uh, he's uh, quite uh, quite interested in watching the videos on the channel. And he said, uh, he said his wife is a big fan. Could I, uh, could I give a shout out to his wife? So uh, shout out to you, Jude. Yes, I know you're, a, I know you're a big fan of the VK6CS Fun with Amateur Radio channel. <laughs> and there we go. It actually looks like he's uh, packaged up some Russian dolls, doesn't it? It sort of gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller, and I'll end up with something about that big. But. I can see it, there's the metal band there. There is another valve.
and hours, if not years, of stress relief here with all these, all this bubble wrap. I can just sit in my comfy chair, popping away. Not that I get stressed, really. Let's try that. Cut that across there. Just need to free this end. there probably. Yep. Look at this. Almost surgical strokes there. Should have been a surgeon really, shouldn't I? I mean this probably looks uh, a lot like a uh, spleen. So you can get that. Uh, we'll have that out in a jiffy. Just as soon as the check for $80,000 has cleared. Yes, I know you only came in for ingrown toenails. All right. <laughs> Look at that. Another beauty. Now this one has something uh, around here. The other one, the other one never had that. I don't know what that is. But I've got a nice elastic band there as well with the look of it. I would say this one has never been used either. So I've got the holders on the way, the valve bases. Another a beautiful pentode. Apparently these were the largest glass valves made for the Russian military. I don't, I haven't researched that, but that's uh, that's what I've heard. Well, you know, I wouldn't argue it in a court of law, but uh... oh, look at that, fantastic! Actually, I don't know what that is. This is probably now. <clears throat> one of these is the anode, and one of these is the uh, suppressor grid. These posts on the top. Now in the commercially made equipment that these things go into, they can only go into the valve base one way round obviously, I suspect the leads aren't long enough to get them mixed up. Let's just see what this says, I'll just unroll this. Ah, that's all the spec for the valve. Oh that's brilliant, look at that. That's fantastic. So I've got um, so I've got all the spec for the valve as well. Sent me all the specifications. So that's uh, that's blooming excellent. Absolutely terrific. So let's just have a very quick look at the valve. See if I can see which one of these is the which one of these is the anode. Yeah, I'd say that one's probably the anode, isn't it? So I'd say. Without, uh, that's going down into there. Yeah, this is going to be this one. This one here will be the anode. And it's got the connections down there to the graphite block, and this one here is disappearing down into the grid structure in there. So that's going to be the suppressor grid. That one there is going to be the anode. It probably does show you the orientation of those on here, does it? That probably thinks you'd have to be a complete plank to get those the wrong way around. Yeah, it does. Okay, so there we go. Leave you with a bit of a uh, Bit of old school radio porn. There we go. <laughs> GU81M times two. As always, hope you found that interesting. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.